And then that leads us up to Monday night. Dolphins at Rams. Interesting game. Buy a score of 7.7 .7 favors the Rams. But I, I would hazard a guess that if you just took the last three weeks of the season, that bias plus score would be a lot smaller. So when we look at average scoring margin for Miami, their uh, average their net points went from an average of minus 7.9 but over the last three weeks, it's been minus 3.3 .3 in terms of their scoring margin. So their margin has shrunk. Uh, their points per game has gone from an average for the season of 15.5 in the last three, 21.3. Okay. So those are some of the, that's why I was saying that the, 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 if you're looking at now to us, you know, the two in numbers versus uh, it might look a little bit different. Might look a little bit different. But okay, here we go. Yeah. Monday night football, Dolphins at Rams, bias plus score 7.7, .7, favors those Rams. Yeah, w without a doubt, Tua is the MVP of that team, no doubt about that. <laughs> uh, the Dolphins played their most complete game of the season on the road against division opponent, opponent uh, Buffalo. Now, Tua had a really good day, really good day. 25 of 28, woo, mm -hmm. 231, two touchdowns, no turnovers. The run game was strong, too. 149 total yards and a David H. Han touchdown. But they did lose a fumble, and the defense couldn't hold up their end of the bargain. Now, that game, if you remember correctly, when I was talking about Buffalo, that game has several lead changes. So they battled. But the defense just, in the end, they, they couldn't hold on. Um, the Rams and the Seahawks put on another knockdown drag out NFC West battle. The NFC West, don't, don't. People might be looking down their noses at your division right now because you guys aren't leading it like you normally do. But. The games in the NFC West are always killer games. Uh, this one was no different. Uh, the Rams pulled out the victory, but they had to go to overtime to do it. 26 to 20. Matt Stafford got it done. The old man still got life in his arm. He led the way with 298 yards and two touchdowns. He did throw an interception. Kyron Williams only had 69 yards on the ground, which is way below his norm but he turned out to be just enough to keep the play action uh, viable. And the defense put in work with seven sacks, 11 quarterback hits, and eight tackles for loss. So a good win for the Rams. That being said, Rams at home, Puka Nakua, and Cooper Cup, and Kyron Williams, and a decent enough defense, I think, to hold off to a, I'm going to go with the Rams. So Puka's back? Yeah, he played. He got kicked out of the game. Oh, okay. okay. For supposedly a dirty hit, I didn't see nothing wrong with it. Okay, I, all, right. all right. These refs these refs are losing their minds this year. That's a story for another day, too. These refs right. are going bananas. We'll have, to, we'll have to check that out. We'll have to check that out. But you know what that means, Benny? Well, first off, before you, I say you know what that means, let's look for the MIAs, the guys who are missing in action. <laughs> Five weeks. Five weeks, announced. 10 teams. Browns, Packers, yeah. Raiders, and Seahawks. So we have a 14-game weekend instead of 16. All right. That wraps up the Bias Plus reports, except for one small piece of business, Benny. And it's not small. It's gargantuan. Because now we know for <laughs> gargantuan who is the <laughs> Bias Plus Buster of the Week. That was those Ravens. The Bias Plus Buster got 32.3. As you say, they went into uh, where, Denver? 
And I was looking. I said Denver went into Baltimore and got their skirt pulled up. There you go. <laughs> I, let me tell you, man, that Derrick Henry just he 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 changes the the spacing on the field. You know, I always say football is a game of time and space. He changes the spacing. You know, you're not going to drop your linebackers too far back. But you, you don't want him to get a running start. <laughs> it's, it, it's just it's, not. It's really almost uh, a lost cause, especially when they give it to him as many times as they do. And then in an obvious running situation, they fake it to him. And Lamar takes it outside and goes, you, you have to shake your head. You're like, what can I do? What can I do? It's, and it's, once Lamar gets it going with Zay Flowers, and now Deontay Johnson's on the team, so now he's got somebody on the other side that can play outside. Zay Flowers can play outside or in the slot. And Mark Andrews is getting himself back into the game. Oh, boy, I'm telling you. It's getting rough out there. That is a tough deal. It's a tough deal, man. So you're going with the bias, going with the um oh, congrats to the rating. That's the bias plus score. What am I talking about? <laughs> it's the buster. It is the buster. All right, Benny. Wow. I went with the bias on every single game. I don't think I ever did that before. Boy, are you serious? Yeah, I'm looking at my list. I could have swore I went against it one time. But I guess I did. Oh, you know what? I was I was going to go with the Commanders, I think, but I decided to go with the Steelers. So yeah, I'm with the bias on every single game. I don't think that's, that's ever happened. Yeah, see, I don't remember that ever happening before either. All right, Benny, it's late. I'm going to get yep. ready to wrap it up. You got any last words? Go CMC. <laughs> yeah, you and the, the, I'm the, looking for CMC and I'm looking for Nico Collins well just to tell you just uh, real quick we got an interesting uh, matchup with the Sixers here and the Clippers what going on right now yeah Paul George gets his start against his old team I look up I see Harden I'm like wait a minute that's oh, his cool team I guess I'll take a look at that uh, take a look at it yeah. All right. Peace out. All right. Later.